What is going on everybody? It is swing trade Saturday. So what we're going to do is find a swing trade in 10 minutes or less using TradeUI's option flow indicator. So sit back, take some notes, and let's get into it. So we're going to do a new tool today. We always utilize the option flow or we utilize news. Um, today we're actually going to use unusual flow. So unusual option activity refers to a sudden surge in option trading volume for a particular security that's significantly higher than a daily average trading volume. What that means is when you see option flow populating here, that is unusual activity, almost like insider trading, right? You see people inside the company buying stock because they expect the stock to go up over time. Same concept with this. However, it's not necessarily insiders in the company. It's people who have done their homework or see something setting up that no one else might see. And what you can do is identify tickers that aren't usually popularly traded, like Tesla, Apple, and NVIDIA. You really don't want to look at those. You can look at different companies that you don't really see often, and that will help show you if there's a potential swing direction coming up. So let's look at it and see what's going on. And right off the bat, I actually see one right here, Calm, C-A-L-M for 55. So let's actually just go ahead and look at that one, see what's going on. All right, click on Calm. All right, so it looks like we had two tickers that day for Calm. We had both were the $55 strike, 55 days to expiration, and they were uh, almost a minute apart, so the order actually got broken up. So somebody, it looks like this is an order that somebody put in together. So you can almost assume that this is a $100,000 order of out the money call options with 55 days to expiration. So it's not too far out the money. However, it is in a bullish direction. So that tells us this is a bullish stock. So let's look at the chart and see what's going on. If I type in calm right here, you can actually see we're actually in a beautiful channel right now. So everything's looking good on the swing trade setup, and this just comes with practice at looking at the charts. If you've checked out our support and resistance video, you can see exactly what I'm seeing right here. So let's draw it out for you. That way I can really show you. So I go to price level here. I see a couple of different support zones. It looks like this one goes back all the way to here because something I want to tell you about as a trader, you tend to pick up on if an old support line gets broken down through, it can still be justified as a support line on the long-term chart to an extent. It's not as powerful as it would be as a fresh support line, but what you can see is right here, 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 here. And it looks like coming up right here, this is a huge support zone right here. So it's not quite there yet, However, it's very close to where if you wanted to get in just following the unusual option activity, you have a good opportunity to do that right now. But what I'm going to do is also draw a support zone. I'm sorry, a resistance zone. So remember, resistance zones are zones we want to get out of, right? So there's a reason I drew it up here instead of down here. Because you might be thinking, well, why didn't you draw it right here? Because it touched one, two, three times here. And it looks like it bounced off one, two, three times here. Because on the longer term charts, it can ch it can trade through a channel, right? You don't, the tighter the channel, the more conservative you have to be. However, if you have time on your side, which we always do when we sell puts, right? Or we buy actual stock, we don't buy calls. We can actually utilize that time to our advantage. So we know as long as we get in with a $52 put right here, it can go down a little bit and then rebound to the upside and we can still capitalize on this. So if you have a small account, I'd recommend selling. A, I'm not, no one wrong. I'm not a financial advisor, all right? Let me go ahead and specify that. But what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to probably sell a $52 put spread right here, probably sell the 52 and then buy back the 51. That way it gives me a tight little spread right here. I have an awesome stop loss right under the $52 level and I have a good direction to get outside of $60. $2 loss, right now that would be... Two dollars to the downside with eight dollars to I'm sorry six dollars to the upside. That's a three to one win uh, win loss ratio. You take trades like that every single time, and it's just a numbers game at that point, guys. That with a higher win rate or a win rate over fifty percent, that is how you see these small accounts grow. Because what, what it takes is finding several trades like this throughout the year and actually executing on them. Because we have a couple things going on for us here, guys. Unusual option activity. Our TTM squeeze is going yellow. MACD is about to cross. We're not in the oversold, we're not in the over uh, the overbought area, but we are not necessarily in the oversold area either. So there's room to the downside if you want to wait for this one. However, if you're selling puts, time is on your side on this one because it could go down at, and nine times out of ten is going to bounce up to the upside again on this. Because there's also something else we got to be be curious about as well. We have earnings coming up too, so. It's interesting that we have unusual option activity coming in right before earnings. 
I don't know. I'm a little skeptical because that is a huge buying standpoint right there. What that means is they believe that they're going to crush earnings and they're actually going to ricochet higher. So that's also something else you have to consider as a trader. Why are they buying this? Is it because they're betting on earnings is going to be positive? And if anything, that's just more conviction for you. At the end of the day, guys, we look at the, we look at the support and resistance lines and we look at the option flow. If everything lines up to where it's a bull run, we're going to execute on that. And we have our stop losses if we're needed. But most of the time, these trades work out the way they need to go. So I hope all this made sense for you guys. If it didn't, please leave some questions and comments. And uh, please leave some questions in the comments below. That way we can address it and help make you a better trader. If you want to check out TradeUI for yourself, go ahead and click that, click that link in the description below. It'll take you to TradeUI. And you can utilize a trial that we have to see if the site's right for you. And if it is right for you, stick around. If it's not, we understand. And if there's issues or feedback that you see on the site that you want to let us know about, talk to us about it. That way we know how to make the site better for you and make you a better trader and give yourself a trading edge. Because at the end of the day, guys, you got to have something, some tool that gives you a watch list to give you stocks to trade on. If you do not have that watch list, you will not succeed as a trader because you will not know where to put your money. And if you invest in TradeUI, you will see the rewards of that investment pay out tenfold in the future becoming a better trader. Guys, I really hope you have a great day. We're going to end it here.